proper model I'm working on at the moment. Hopefully the vibrating camera won't be too annoying. Uh, the uh, the second thing is uh, there's the cloak, so a couple of you have asked me about the cloak, um, uh, which I'll go into another time, and you can see I've not finished painting the sword part there, or anything like that. Uh, but people have been asking me uh, for two things, one is marble, uh, how to paint marble, uh, which I'll do another video of, because uh, that's a bit weird, but this, uh, the reason I'm streaming now is to make a video for uh, how to paint uh, black armour, uh, or at least black armour the way this guy has been done. Um, so what my plan is, is to show you all, he has a pauldron, uh, his shoulder pad thing, just that, uh, and the idea is I'm just going to go through it uh, pretty quickly on that shoulder pad, just to show people the way I do it, uh, people can feel free to do it or not, I don't really mind. Uh, but I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit with some black, so you will need Abaddon Black, Again, I'm using quite a lot of paint at the moment, just so people can see the colours that I've used. Uh, I'm not doing anything crazy with it. Uh, I'm just watering it down, there's nothing mad. Um, I'm just tidying parts of it up. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit of that cloak as well, actually. Uh, the reason it's a little uh, red already is because I've already painted the inside of the cloak. Um, so then go ahead and tidy some of that up. A little carefully because I've already done the uh, well, most of the leather van brace on his arm on the inside. Uh, also, one of the reasons I'm using black is because um, just because the model has been undercoated black doesn't mean that that's enough. Uh, the black undercoat is very different to the black paint, or it's slightly different, and the black paint kind of gives it a, a slightly uh, I wouldn't say shiny, but a more defined texture to it. But try it, try it on a model yourself and you'll see that the undercoat's not dusty but it looks sort of dusty compared to a normal black paint. So you're painting, you're repainting the entire of that bit uh, black. Then, uh, for this model, uh, there's two more colours. The first one being, if I can find it, because I've got all sorts of colours sat on my desk at the moment from painting. Uh, here we are. So the first one is Dawnstone. Fairly straightforward. And the second one is Administratum Grey. So just get some of that on your palette. So this is your base colour. for all around it. So all we're doing is edge highlighting the, the shoulder pad. Uh, and we're just going to get that colour. Make sure it's pretty watered down. You don't want it being too unmanageable. And again, if the webcam picture, and this will let me show you, you're just going along the highlights there. really matter if you mess up or anything. So, looks fairly straightforward, nothing crazy about it. Uh, doesn't even look that particularly great at the moment, it's just fairly straightforward stuff. Uh, any grey that you've gone over, where it looks slightly untidy, we're going to tidy up once we've done all of the highlights. Okay. Uh, next one is Administratum Grey. Again, uh, apologies for the wobbling camera angle. 
uh, I need to sort something out where the table is a little more a little sturdier so the camera doesn't shake it's not me knocking it it's just the table uh, hello Charles how are you doing and that was a terrible pun so I thoroughly encourage it okay so for this part uh, you're basically picking up any of the raised areas so it's just the corners so this is a slightly lighter administratum grate and again it doesn't matter if you're kind of a little bit messy with it and this is just adding a little bit of depth to the grey you've already put down so it's over the raised areas as you can see and that's fairly standard and we're also going to get the corners there so anything that would be sharp or slightly stands out okay uh, and now for the bit that, that I've actually been asked more about uh, but batch painting is just fine Charles I wouldn't worry about it uh, yeah the next bit again is we're going to go back to Dawnstone so we've got we've defined the area all over the models but all the shoulder part of the arm uh, and now we're going to add what people have been asking for which is the scratches so we go back to Dawnstone and you're really really watering down the Dawnstone so it's like I'd say 70% water 30% paint so it's really really water so you've already got a really bit of a uh, great bit of battle damage in the shape of that crack there but what you can then do is add a little bit more just so it adds a bit more to it so it doesn't really matter where on this model that you decide to put it so I'm just gonna put one there for example and it's dead thin Okay. another one just there as you can see so we've done bits of battle damage on it I'm going to add a little one there and there we go we got a bit of damage and I'll put, maybe put another one up there and the good thing about this especially on black is because you're using a flat black uh, canvas essentially uh, any of these that you're not happy with you can just go back and do so I uh, once this video's finished this stream's finished I may go back and decide oh I don't like the way that that scratches on his shoulder or something on those lines uh, but that's the basics of it it's done that's that's exactly how I want them I think and then once again you go back to your second highlight which is Dawnstone and I've already got some mix on the palette so I'm just going to really water it down again so that's what you're trying to do you're trying to water it down all the time so it's it's basically mostly water and you're going to go where any of these lines meet each other or where it hits the edge of the armor plate so just towards the edge there you're just going to brighten it up a little bit you're just going to highlight that bit there and again these look a little messy but it's because I'm using the uh, the webcam and it's difficult to position the model. If you notice it's just along the edge there. And one there. So that looks okay. Doesn't look too bad. Looks fairly just as if you'd painted some uh, some grey over the shoulder. But the best thing about it now is in order to make it give it some more depth, we add two extra colours. So you could just leave it at that if you really wanted to but it doesn't look that great so what you're going to do is you're going to return to your black just have it on black normal mix of water just so it's watered down enough <coughs> I'm gonna, we're going to imagine that the sun's pretty much hitting it dead on so what we're trying to do now is add a little bit of shade to the marks you've done so we're also going to tidy them up um, but so the sun I say would for this would be coming from that direction so the shade underneath the chip would be underneath the armour the so we're blocking away some of the stuff so this one be there 
that one would be there. So hopefully you can see now where it's kind of, it looks as if it's slightly warped the armour when it's been hit or when it's been scratched. And you can also start tidying those scratches up so they wouldn't be that thick. And again I'm struggling a little bit because I'm trying to paint with the camera. Water this down a little bit more because it's pretty warm. So doing the paint's drying. So I'm, I'm literally just adding, making sure that these highlights are sharp at the moment. I'm not doing anything crazy with the black. I'm just tidying it up. So, so far, so good. I think that area there could be a little tidier, so run your brush down the middle. And I'm going to return to that bit. So, the final bit for the highlight, and this is just again just to make it pop a little bit more, is you get. You could use white, but I prefer Ultium and Grey, because it's near white. It's very, very close to white. Good shake. So I've watered it down a little, and you're literally just adding a tiny bit of white to the parts above the... So hopefully you can all see this just above the so you add in these little dots of white and it shows that's basically where the the bullet or whatever it is that scratched the armor would have forced the paint off so that's where it would be uh, the biggest collection of the actual like the scratch or whatever it would be and it also for some reason it just draws the eye to the scratch and you're putting that on the opposite side to where you did the black line underneath it so wherever it's shaded so you've got the gray bar line there underneath it is a little black line just to confirm it has some depth and then above it is the white dot. And you can add these white dots to the corner of the armor plate and just to the top there. Anywhere where you think it would add a little bit more depth to the model. I think. But all of a sudden that's changed it a little bit. Now, I'm not sure how clear the picture is, um, but that adds to it. Now you can also, if you want to, you can add extra battle damage to this by using the very darkest grey that we've used and just doing really, really, I mean it's almost dry brushing but with a fine detail brush or artificial brush I'm using at the moment, uh, an extra small one and basically just by scratching along like that and that would add a little bit more damage to it but I, I quite like the clean look on Cypher. Um, so once I've tidied this up, so we're having a look at that now but I will show you the battle damage on Cypher so far. So you can see I've done it on his legs uh, and on his feet um, and a little bit on his glove and on the back of his glove there. I've also done his cloak and yeah just got a little bit, a few more bits and pieces to do. Uh, I've not decided how I'm going to do the eyes yet on him and so on and so forth. So. But yeah, that's how I have been doing the black on this guy. Uh, normally I would use, it depends as well on uh, the black you're trying to do. So you can do a colder black. So this is quite a neutral black because it's just using greys. But if you use something like Storm Vermin Fur, which has got a little bit of brown to it, uh, that would be a slightly warmer grey. Uh, or you could use Eshin grey. Um, and uh, Not Eshin grey, um, Dark Reaper and so on and so forth. And they're quite cold blue armours. Um, and that's basically uh, for a slightly colder looking armor. Uh, so I tend to do the warmer armors for things like if you were doing a Blood Angels um, Death Company, um, you could use the warmer um, version of black armor. 
Uh, it doesn't make that much difference, if I'm totally honest with you. Um, just different ways of doing it. 